also be connected into this same. And actually, Maurice is up and running off the same software. Uh, besides conceiving this, I think the team did very well was to apply Six Sigma methodology, do process analysis, remove non-value adding uh, process and procedures, build a new better process, train, then hardwire these improvements through the technology. I'm not going to go into all these steps, but this is just the Apollo Health Check and how the delay counter reduced after this system from 290 minutes. We brought this down in the Apollo Health Check what it will be by removing all the unnecessary delays, by doing what you can electronically and not having a uh, people interface or an individual queuing system System. By having this dynamic queuing and a control dashboard, uh, they brought this down to 63 minutes. So I think this is a significant improvement and has really resulted, end of the day, what do we all seek? It's a happy customer. We've started using a concept called net patient score. Our NPS has dramatically improved in the health checkup area post this being used. Uh, I, I think that it's, it is the right example in terms of hospital information. Very often CEOs and doctors say, put your HIS up and they're thinking it's a magic wand. HIS is not a magic wand. HIS is an ability to work with the hospital people, to build the teams, to get the integration of the nurses and the doctors, to re-engineer process to train and to use technology to only ensure that this new process remains the methodology and help and assist. So there's, there's a completely um, 360 degree thought process change in the way HIS needs to be implemented within a hospital and um, I, I think it's been an interesting journey for the team. I'm going to try to do this faster. Finally, important one, I'm not going to go through this in detail because I think uh, you have a very distinguished speaker who's going to talk a lot more about this. But our concept of the electronic medical record, which flows through this system, is one that it's not any fancy esoteric thing. It is a collation of the work that you're doing in the hospital. It's an ability to view in an integrated manner clinical data. And the important thing is to view in an integrated manner and to have that same information flow across and also to think about it from the time a child is born or even before they're born when the mother is expecting all the way through childhood with information, immunization, alerts and interface into knowledge bases and finally through life. Wherever we have printed record, the ability to interface that into an electronic because we work with other environments which will continue to have a lot of printed work. Finally, we think this EMR is an important and dynamic tool for clinical research. And we hope and pray that this clinical research will not just be Apollo's, but there will be a national EMR registry. Uh, I, I think the central government is moving on this initiative. There's a little bit of thought towards standardization of the EMR format. There are a few of the, you in this room who I think we'll all be meeting together, talk at the health, central health ministry level. This is a critical initiative for this country. Uh, I need to move fast. I think we've really run out of time. But I think this will facilitate a dynamic and a paradigm shift in the way we look at healthcare. Healthcare is not the current model. People come with symptoms. We treat those symptoms and they recover or they revisit. Information technology overlaid into a healthcare system system will allow us to stratify population, will allow us to analyze genetic predisposition, to monitor and prevent ailments, to diagnose early, to share this di early diagnostic information across the healthcare system so that we in Terry hospitals don't see stage 4 cancer. You pick it up in stage 1 and you treat. These are the kind of changes in the future model of healthcare that I really think that we dream about that we predict will happen, and we hope and pray and work that it will happen. I also think that a multitude of mobile devices are going to facilitate a lot of this future shift as well. Um, I'm going to skip this one too, but just to say that the Apollo system with its servers is integrated into the community through the high and through a health exchange, and there are multiple other players getting on to this exchange platform. Uh, the, the APIs of this will shortly be thrown open so that any other technology player can, can link on because this is 
This is not an individual system. We may have thought about it in the beginning. This is for the public domain. And uh, I, you know, really seek and invite intervention, interaction, and partnership on the Health Highway platform. Um, I'm going to skip this and come to the really last thing. I, I believe that, you know, consumer centricity or uh, patient centricity is critical. There's a lot more detailing into Health Highway, but I, I'm not going to get into it now because I think uh, we're really running out of time and you should uh, listen to our other speakers. But I must end by saying that our single largest call for action is really the public and private sectors need to unite to work together. And Health Unite project is actually, uh, you know, I'm happy Mr. Bedi is here and he can tell you more about it, but it was sponsored by the Government of India's IT department. Uh, it had you know, may, many, many players, including the All India Institute and CDAC and multiple others, who collaborated to try and think through what are standards, what is the foundation. The other building blocks clearly are people and training, so we have coders and we have knowledge in this space. The basic infrastructure, which I think has really happened because our country has got extremely wired, the IT capability in this country, all of you know about. Some of the smartest brains in this country are working on IT. They're working on international IT, and I think uh, they're beginning to look at Indian healthcare IT, and that's very good news. Uh, and really the applications which are built on these standards and built on this ideology is what needs to flow through the system to provide that cost-effective healthcare to many. The bird's eye view really of this is that once we have the concept right, we need a legal framework to legislate it. We need the standards and we need the education. And we need to put everybody's thought process, the provider's view, the payer's view, what's effective and efficient for them, how to ensure that insurance companies will play in this space, the consumer's perspective, the privacy aspects that you spoke about, what's our policy on those, and finally the regulator's perspective, the government, IRDA, all these together need to work towards creating this system because as we evolve, as we rush at a 35% growth rate in the healthcare sector towards covering 1 billion lives, the task is enormous, the opportunity is exciting, the need is great and very well known. But the biggest call of the hour is really for togetherness in this common ideology and for innovation because transformation can happen. I thank all of you very much. I believe that India will lead this transformation and the world will say that India is a smart place in the way they handle their care. Thank you all and good luck.